recording our meeting. Welcome everyone to today's TDL member forum for May 2022. My name is Christy Park and I'm the executive director of the Texas Digital Library. I'm so glad that you have all joined us today. As we uh, gather together here in this shared virtual space, I wanna first acknowledge the physical spaces from which we're all joining, all located on the indigenous lands of Turtle Island, the ancestral name for what is now called North America. Though TDL staff works fully remotely and we all join from our own specific locations in Texas and elsewhere, I, along with several TDL staff, join from Austin in the central Texas area where the Tonkawa were among the traditional stewards of the land before their forcible removal. I invite all of you to share your own land acknowledgements in chat if you'd like to, and Leah's going to post a link uh, in the chat where you can learn more uh, about the indigenous peoples who lived or currently live in your area today. Here's our agenda for today, and we'll follow the usual pattern with some updates from me, and then we'll briefly report out some highlights on services and projects because we're really going to take a look today um, and get excited about next week's big event, the Texas Conference on Digital Libraries. So you'll just be hearing from me and from our communications manager, Leah DeForest, today, but we have several other TDL staff joining us um, in the meeting. I'm glad to see all of you as well. Okay, moving right along into director's update, director's updates. First off, um, I want to remind everybody about the updated version of our racial equity action plan, which is now available for you to review and provide feedback on. Leah is going to provide a link to that in chat, and we've extended the deadline for public comment through May 20th, this Friday. So if you haven't already um, taken a chance to look it over, please do so and, and give us your feedback by this Friday. This document represents our ongoing efforts to articulate the concrete measures that we commit to take in order to dismantle white supremacy within our organization and associated communities. You can provide feedback on the plan directly in the document by adding comments. But if you'd like to contact me directly with questions or concerns, I hope you'll feel free to do that as well or use our anonymous feedback form. After the period of open comment, our executive team will review the feedback and incorporate or respond to it where appropriate. Our goal is to release a final version of this document by the end of this month. <clears throat> and speaking of our commitments to racial equity, diversity and inclusion, we're really excited to be moving forward with our TDL diversity resident digital librarian position, uh, which is part of the ACRL diversity alliance. We um, are hiring for a three year position for an early career digital information professional librarian or archivist from a historically underrepresented underrepresented minoritized community. The resident will explore opportunities and contribute to digital libraries within the context of the TDL consortium and its members. And they'll have an opportunity to lead, create, collaborate, grow, belong, and discover various aspects of creation, maintenance, and innovation in digital libraries and archives, regionally, nationally, and internationally. We're really excited about this. The position is now posted and will close to new applications on May 31st. So we're going to be reviewing candidates in June and have hope to have somebody in this position by late August. And we just want to get you excited about this because we're going to be asking for your input and support of this candidate um, in various ways. So be on the lookout for, for questions from us and from our planning committee who's helping us um, plan for this position and make it a really meaningful one. <clears throat> okay. Um, finally, the organizers of Open Texas 2022, of which TDL is one, are now accepting proposals for the second annual virtual and free Open Texas conference to be held September 21st through the 23rd. 
This conference is organized collaboratively by TDL and its partners, the Digital Higher Education Consortium of Texas and the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board. And it will again bring together open education practitioners and advocates, including librarians, faculty, administrators, and others to explore research on the impact of open educational research resources on student success and learning. <clears throat> Um, this year's conference theme is the labor of open education, and it invites participants to reflect on the work, creativity, art, and science of open education. Proposals should be submitted via CVENT and are due on Wednesday, June 1st, coming up very quickly. Um, we have wonderful representation from the TDL community on our committees um, that are planning this event. We want to see um, that same wonderful representation in the program. So I really encourage everyone, if you're working in OER, to um, think about submitting a proposal for this and also attending. Leah's posting a link in chat to the call for proposals so you can uh, learn more about what's required there. Okay, so next we'll move into our services and project updates and we're going to be this is going to be pretty rapid fire updates on these services so that we can get to the good stuff about TCDL, but we'll start as usual with our repository hosting service. Um, Nick Woodward, our DSpace tech lead, senior software engineer, has substantially completed the migrations of 19 TDL hosted DSpace repositories to a new operating system and hosting environment. Congrats to Nick on that completion of that project. Um, we've also completed, and Nick was the lead on this as well, the production launch of UD Space, which is a new D Space repository for our newest member, the University of Dallas. Uh, you can see the screenshot of their repository on this slide. We'll paste a link in chat so you can check it out for yourself. Congratulations to the team at University of Dallas on this um, migration to open D Space. We're really excited to be hosting it and to have have, have them as members in TDL. Moving on to OJS and journal hosting, we're in the process right now of planning for upgrades to our 75 hosted OJS journals. Um, that project will start in earnest after the Open Repositories Conference in, in mid-June. So we're gonna be sending out communication this week to all of our journal management teams about this upcoming upgrade so that folks can start getting um, you know, comfortable with the new version and learning and, and testing out a demo site. Um, so be on the lookout for that. We'll also be discussing this with our library service managers at the next OJS user group meeting, which will be in early June. <clears throat> next up, research data management. We mentioned last, last forum, that we had contracted with some developers from the Global Dataverse Community Consortium to help us with some work with our uh, Dataverse repository. They have completed that work with us, um, that, which resulted in an upgrade of the repository to version 5.10, which includes several new features and bug fixes. So that's a, a good win for our TDR community and the researchers using that repository. <clears throat> Vireo migrations are continuing uh, over the course of this summer. Um, no major updates here, just that we're, you know, troubleshooting a few things and uh, have a number of repository or number of Vireo installations in testing right now, and we'll expect to see more production Vireo for instances soon. Next up, DPLA. So late April, saw our most recent harvest of TDL members' digital content into the Digital Public Library of America. And this quarter, we do these harvests quarterly, and this quarter, Houston Public Library added 45 new collections to the metadata that they share with DPLA, which brought their total number of records in DPLA to over 10,000. So we've begun a, a new series of posts and, and by we, I mean Elliot Williams, our DPLA outreach coordinator, has begun a new series of posts on the TDL blog, 
showcasing the materials that TDL members share with DPLA each quarter. And the first post in that series highlights some of these new items shared by HPL. So we hope you enjoy these. Um, I know I have, and, and we'll take some time to explore the materials that TDL members are sharing with DPLA through Tech Hub. Leah's gonna post a link to, in the chat to that blog post so you can take a look. And finally, an update on our OER support services. <clears throat> so TDL is working on a survey right now that will go out to all our members about our OER support services. We wanna find out what you think, what you value and what you need. Um, in terms of open educational resources support. And we wanna thank the members, especially of TDL's OER ambassadors group for their help in developing and distributing that survey. Keep an eye out for that. It will be coming in early June. And more on that as things develop. So now I'm gonna hand it over to Leah to um, talk about the main event uh, about next week's conference. So over to you, Leah. Right on. Thank you so much, Christy. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Leah DeForest. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the communications manager with Texas Digital Library. I'm so glad that you've all joined us this morning. So I'm gonna walk you through TCDL day by day and throw out a few reminders and links along the way. But first reminder is gonna be if you haven't already done so, now's the time to register for our conference, which is entirely virtual, all online. It's happening next week, May 23rd through 26th. Members um, with institutional funding can register and we have discounts for you. We also have free options available, student options and registration fees. So please don't let funding keep you away from what's gonna be a really great conference this year. And um, before I jump into day one, just a few other kind of overview reminders around the program. We'll start every day with a really low key morning coffee chat starting at 915 where you can just visit with colleagues and check in before sessions begin. We are going to keep lunchtime, which will be 12 uh, noon to 1pm. Lunchtime will be free of any sessions, so you'll have time to eat, relax and just regroup. And then we're also using the hour after that lunch or noon hour on most of the days for virtual swag offerings. So instead of pens and cups and notebooks and stuff, we're offering you what we hope will be enriching and useful and or fun experiences. So day one, which is Monday the 23rd. And so after chatting over our morning coffee, we hope you will ease into the conference vibe with some birds of a feather sessions. We have a few birds of a feathers and, and some other sessions that will focus on AV accessibility, imaging, open educational resources, linked data, GIS, DSpace, as well as supporting student employees. And that'll all be Monday morning. We have uh, some of those swag sessions. We're calling them get your glow on sessions beginning at one after that lunch hour. You'll have your choice of a writing workshop, no experience necessary for that workshop, or an artful meditation um, on Monday afternoon. And just want you to note that if you're interested in attending that art making and meditation session, we are capping that at 20 participants. And that's at the request of our facilitator. So if you want to attend, you can claim your seat by adding the session to your schedule in SCED. And please only do so if you really plan to commit to attending that session, it will not be recorded. And so when you say, I, I like this session or I plan to attend, we hope you'll mean it. And please do email us at info at tdl.org if you have any questions about how to handle that session or the registration, quote unquote, for it. At the end of the day on Monday, we'll host a round of lightning talks to cap off day one with some energy and fun and set the stage for what will be day two with some real big events. We have some links in chat here that we'll sprinkle in along the way. And so day two is a big day. It's very exciting. I hope everyone will make sure to join us and start off your morning coffee talk. We'll host a breakout room to have a poster watch party. All of our posters have been uploaded to YouTube and we'll drop a link in chat where you can take a look at them at any point. 
So at 10 a.m. though, whether you have coffee talk or not, I hope you'll join our opening plenary session. This will be when we celebrate all of our TDL awards winners and get to learn from our keynote, Elaine L. Westbrooks, whose presentation will be titled Reckoning and Transformation, the value of being of and for equity and inclusion. And so Elaine's keynote will reflect on her work and her call to action at UNC Chapel Hill Libraries to actually do something about systemic racism and the inequities that persist in academic library, academic research library, excuse me. So Elaine will share what she learned about building a strategy for equity and inclusion and the mistakes that were made along the way talk about how the core part of the strategy has to be about understanding and addressing the inequitable components of our library systems like budgets, communications, IT, development, and then coming up with sustainable new policies and practices and procedures that will help transform the organization and the people who work there and how they see their work in themselves within the evolving organization. So that was just all I had to say about it. She's going to talk for 45 minutes. So this is going to be a really fantastic keynote. And we know that she's going to impart so many important lessons that we feel it would be important to take time to reflect on everything Elaine is going to offer us. And so with that in mind, following that lunch hour on Tuesday, everyone is invited to join us for a reflection session where we'll reflect on uh, Elaine's keynote remarks. This will be co-facilitated by our conference chair, Amanda Zarang of Texas Women's University and Diane Lopez of UT San Antonio, who will lead a writing reflection in a breakout room during that session. So after that session, our afternoon sessions start at 2 p.m. and they'll showcase different presentations on repository management and ETDs, as well as a demonstration of a GIS tool. And I want to note that that GIS demo is going to run a little bit longer than some of our other sessions. It'll run 90 minutes. So just be aware of that session when you decide to attend. And then additionally, we'll host a reverse workshop on Tuesday afternoon. So about that, reverse workshops um, are a new format, a new session type for us at TCDL this year. We want to try something new. I invite everyone to participate. This format of reverse workshop is intended to be brainstorming um, about a particular problem or issue. It's going to allow the presenter to describe a problem or issue within their institution and then seek some real-time feedback and discussion and any strategies imparted by our attendees. So interactive to the max. It's going to be, the balance isn't gonna be 45 minutes of presentation, 10 minutes of Q&A. It's gonna be about 10 minutes of presentation and 45 minutes of discussion. So bring your um, willingness to share when you attend our reverse workshops. And I do hope you will attend. And Tuesdays will be a really great one. It's going to be interactive. It's going to be a brainstorming and ideation, calling on anyone who's tackled or even considered tackling a digitization project. Uh, and I think a lot of us here have had to do that. And so it'd be a great time to attend, to learn and share. I hope you'll join us for that. So day three. So by day three, we are definitely in the swing of things next Wednesday. Once again, we'll start off with a morning coffee chat and we'll host a breakout room to have a poster watch party. The morning sessions on Wednesday will include a reverse workshop on bias and digital collection searches. We'll have some presentations on digital preservation, research integrity, and evaluating some COVID related workflows, as well as another new session type show and fail. So this new session type, Show and Fail, is dedicated to all the risk takers out there. And these will be um, short talks about programs or initiatives, workflows, strategies at your library that didn't work out as you'd hoped. And so again, this is a new session type at TCDL and we'll celebrate risk taking rather than success. And I just wanna say a big kudos to the three presenters who are taking risks and presenting at our first show and fail session. Following the lunch hour on Wednesday morning, and I really do hope everyone takes time for themselves during that hour. We will absolutely not tell on you if you just have TCDL on your calendar and decide to take a walk, catch a cat nap, or just do nothing between noon and 1 p.m. on each day of our conference. So please do take that time for yourself. And yes, following the lunch hour, though, we, we have activities that we'd like you to attend. Everyone's enjoyed, invited to join us for our last 
get your glow on sessions. And these are going to be tough to decide between because they're very, very, very different. One session will provide some guidance on financial literacy, and the other will be real life juggling lessons. And uh, please note that both of these sessions will be recorded. So you don't have to decide now on the day of, you can kind of pick your flavor. And I'm really struggling on which one I want to watch, but uh, you'll be able to watch the recording later if you can't decide. So then starting at 2 p.m., the last sessions of the day will be two afternoon sessions with presentations on open educational resources and user experience, followed by a tool demonstration to close out the day. So the last day is Thursday, the 26th. This will be a half day. And just how we kind of eased into the conference with birds of the feathers, we're going to ease out with birds of the feathers round table discussions. Um, we'll get started right at 10 a.m. We don't have a morning coffee or watch party scheduled for that day. So we'll have three sessions on Thursday between 10 and noon. We'll bring together our Vireo users. Uh, we'll host a round table for open education practitioners and hold a birds of a feather about digital collections metadata. And all three of these sessions are open to anyone who's interested in attending and hang out, meet people who are also interested in these topics. We hope you'll stick around to help us close out this year's TCDL. And so finally, for those of you who are presenting at TCDL, first of all, thank you. We are so excited for your presentations. Thanks to those of you who attended last week's office hours. I hope that was helpful for you. We have a page on our website with resources just for you presenters. Your session moderators have been in contact via email. And so I recommend that you reach out to your moderator if you have any questions along the way. We do ask that you have your presentation materials uploaded to either SCED or your Google Drive folders by the end of the day on Friday. And the big reason for that, folks, is just like your internet goes out and your presentation is nowhere to be found. At least someone would have access to your slides and the show can go on. So please do try to have your slides uploaded by the end of the day on this Friday, the 20th. So again, we're gonna paste links to, in chat where we have that speaker support page, as well as a recording of the demo that Tao provided during last week's office hours. And speaking of, I wanna thank Tao Votang, my colleague at UT Libraries, who's made this year's conference run smoothly for everyone. I'm so spoiled by her. And I also wanna thank our committee members who have dedicated this past year, um, their labor, their time, energy, and creativity to planning this year's conference. Our chairs, Amanda and Christina, of course, as well as Cynthia, Gabby, Diana, Bruce, Mingyu, Diane, and Adrian. You've all been so fun and supportive and wonderful to work with this past year, and I never want to let you go. So I hope you come back. Thank you so much. And finally, a couple more reminders before I see you all again next week. Uh, please just don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions along the way, either before, during, or after TCDL. I hope that this conference will be fun, low-key, informal, and you'll make time to meet new colleagues and make new friends. We'll have lots of new faces joining us in our virtual space. And frankly, you all are the best part of TDL and TCDL. So uh, I look forward to seeing those connections come together. And uh, I, please share our announcements. Any announcements around TCDL or just share a link like, hey, register, here's the web page. All of are welcome to join us. And even if they aren't working our libraries and archives, if they're students, uh, if they're friends who might just be interested in a session or two, send them a link to register and we'd love to see them there. And then, yeah, please register. That's the big reminder. We want you to register by the end of the day on Friday. If you show up on Monday morning knocking on the registration door, you may not get an answer because things are already going to be in swing. So please do try to register by the end of the day, Friday. I think that's it for me. And I'll hand things back to Christy. And thank you all. See you next week. Thank you, Leah. And um, <clears throat> kudos to the TCDL program committee and all the subcommittees and everybody for just putting together what promises to be a really phenomenal program for next week. Um, I, I'm excited about it. Um, and, it's, and I just wanna say too, and I know everybody here will join me today and, and next week as well in thanking Leah um, for the phenomenal work that she's done in coordinating and Tao Votang, um, who has been just a tremendous asset um, to us at TDL as we've been coordinating this 
second virtual TCDL. It's just a, a ton of work and they've done a phenomenal job. <clears throat> so we do have some time for questions. If you have them, you can put them in chat or you can unmute yourself and, and ask um, verbally if you prefer that. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Shelly, for that rem this reminder. I should have mentioned this in the DSpace update. If you haven't already, please do fill out the DSpace user group skills survey. The DSpace user group is, is surveying our, our um, our DSpace users for information about what skills they have in using DSpace, what features they use, um, and also what kinds of training they'd like to see. Um, and, and we'll be using that in future programming. So um, Shelly has put the link there in, in chat and encourage you all to take that if you're using DSpace. Any other announcements or questions? Okay, well, we'll give you three minutes back <laughs> of, your, of your day. Um, we will be sharing out the recording and the slides um, as we have them ready to go. And we are so excited to be seeing all of you and more of you um, next week at the Texas Conference on Digital Libraries. So we will see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.